So this is my steam generator which broke. It's a Kohler model K9 and it gave me an error number number five which means that it's either overheating because it's not getting enough water or the water uh, feed line is blocked so I called the company and found out that uh, the only option is to replace it and you could see why that's difficult to replace um, so anyway another frustration is that the installer did not install this low enough and also this dimple that's supposed to be for arom aromatherapy is not at the 12 o'clock position and again, they didn't put a shutoff valve for the cold water line. So I started by putting one in myself, and then I took the assembly out and started disassembling it part by part. And I noticed that there's that insulating foam, which was completely soaking wet. And uh, this is a piece from the top. And then I just went and bought a new uh, replacement. And uh, this is the electronics. And you can see here how much corrosion from the water there was. So I took the steam unit out of this and uh, started opening it up. This is an image of the electronics, so I can remember what to get back to. It looks good. And here's a scheme from the brochure. And so I took this uh, unit out, and, and you could see those five nuts that you can take out. And this is the plunger for the water. Here's the inside of the unit. And I just gave it a vinegar bath to make sure we can remove the calcium. Then I unthreaded the float switch to check it. Uh, it seemed to work at first. The threads are not very good. The float switch works by making contact when this magnet floating device floats. Here's the inside of the unit where it fits. And I noticed that there is an actual bad thread. You could see a pinhole here, actually more than a pinhole. And that needed to be sealed. So I um, here you could see the light going through it. So I used epoxy putty. Actually, I used a JB Weld instead of this one. And I put that in. And then using a sealant, I threaded back the float switch. Okay, so I, I, I thought that the um, float switch was okay. And all I have to do is make sure it's sealed well in here. But it turns out that um, when I tested it, it gave me zero at first ohms and then it goes to 38. It's random. It's erratic. And I think that it should be zero ohm. It should be a loop circle. Um... And when I put it on the um, sounding alarm, it does work, but it's not reading zero. Change the floating device. I'm pushing the floater down now. Here's not floating. Here's floating. Uh, it should read zero, I think. So I think this is probably the intermittent change of resistivity of that or conductivity of that is probably the reason it was tripping the error. So then I filled it with water to test if uh, there are any leaks and I noticed that there was not a leak at all. Alright, let's test this um, con connectivity. We're testing both the float switch and the um, and the thermocouple. Of course the thermocouple we can't test it but um, we're connecting this is right now uh, no circuit completed and now it's reading 8 ohms as opposed to um, 40 ohms so maybe that's okay we're going to test the unit next okay we've all been waiting for this moment i have no idea if this is going to work or not but at least the multimeter is reading open circuit at the float switch and the thermo uh sensor thermal sensor uh, that's because the float switch is not floating so i'm going to turn on the water right here hopefully nothing leaks and at some point there's going to be enough water so that the float switch is going to float and give me a signal beeping hopefully when it gets full enough there you go now this is not the reading I was expecting but that's okay I was thinking zero now I can still hear the water at some point it's gonna stop when the unit has enough water hopefully no leaks and that's good all right now next I'm just gonna connect these two 
where they belong. Let's fire it up. I better close this and be running away. Uh, this is it. Pumping up the amps. I'm gonna close this just for safety and go into the bathroom. This is where we need all the prayer. I'm gonna run it. It's gonna take a while to heat. I hear it going. Now the pipe for the steam is not fully on, clearly, because I didn't. I'm just putting it loosely just enough so we can get some steam in the room as opposed to here. Of course, it might pop this open. In which case, I'd have to shut it off. Again, this is kind of dangerous, it's all open, but I've got to test it before I put it all together. Nothing's leaking, that's good news. Float switch still floating, otherwise it would have shut off the system. I hear steam. There's steam in the room. That's definitely steam. Let me close this. It's running longer than usual. There's a little bit of steam leaking here, but that's because I didn't have it obviously tight enough. That's not the problem. This is all good news. Once I get that fixed, I'm all set. Assuming that the float switch is not really broken. If that's my only leak, that's to be expected because I loosely wired this. Still going. Steam has been going for a while. Longer than ever. Can't complain. I don't know, I'd call that a success if I were you. But no electronics problems. Everything looks good. Oh boy, does that thing insulate? Does that thing insulate? It is, I don't feel a thing. Okay, I'm, I'm getting worried about the steam oozing out of here. The steam unit, in my opinion, is declared functional. Well, I did not actually screw it on very tight because I was not able to get it to line up correctly. It has an angle that it has to be at. The floating switch has to be threaded correctly. So I got a new one with better threads and I decided to use the new one. And you could see here I put an O-ring just to make sure it makes a tight seal. And there it is. Uh, and I tested it for water and it leaked. So I took a step back, organized myself, put a sheet to protect my washer dryer and started again. So you could see the threads here are really badly corroded and I needed to do something to prevent the water from seeping through. So I decided to use that epoxy putty again but put it on the outside as well as the inside and even reinforced the inside. And actually I, I carved some of the threading on the outside and then I decided to use Teflon tape and pipe thread sealant on the female threads. Which is not a good idea in general but here it's okay because this is not a continuing continuous flow of, of a pipe. So then there it is, it's sealed up and I was able to tighten this enough so that the floating device is lined up properly with the arrows uh, in the right direction. Then I put silicone on them to completely seal them and here's the inside of the unit. And, uh, and here you could see that some of that pipe thread sealant is coming out and then I did the water test. And there was no leak at all with, with the water at maximum level. Of course you need to use uh, the steam to test it. Then I made the connection between the float switch and the thermal switch. And in the process I noticed that these high voltage adapters that I thought they would just slip on there like that, but they actually were soldered on these uh, heating coils. So I had to resolder them and I wish I knew that I would have taken them off from that screw in any case. Then I did my typical conductivity test between the float switch and the thermal switch and I noticed that there was some um, problem with continuity. It was intermittent again so I decided to cut the extra length of that float switch and see if that would work and it worked. Okay now we're gonna test the um, circuitry. Um, I've got the float switch in series with the thermal switch 
I'm gonna tap the float switch here. And sure enough, 0 0.2, that's good. So this is working. It wasn't working before when I had the entire length of the float switch. One of these wires must be busted. Luckily, the uh, busted wire is not from the switch itself, so I don't have to replace the switch. Just putting it back for another test without the foam. All right, folks, this is it all um, put back together, except the soldering of the uh, pipes here. Of course, I have to close it professionally, but I want to test if see if there's any leaks when I run it, so the electrical is all good. And now, moment of truth. All right, let's see what it says over here. Yeah, it's on. Uh, let's put it on. And hear a click. There's no water. That's why. Okay, there's no water. All right, that's good. Let's do the water test first. All right. All right, folks, let's test the switch, the float switch, by turning on the water. And then the float switch should kick in at some point and give me a signal when it has enough water. Yeah, there it is. Perfect. All right, I'm ready to run this. And now we're ready to go. Let's hope no leaks. Here. Oh, there's a leak. Where's the leak coming from? It's boiling the water. So we have to fix that leak here. But again, these are all hand tight, so I need uh, to fasten them for real with real new Teflon tape. Makes sense that it's leaking right here. And it's of course leaking from here because this is not soldered. But as far as the steam goes, Definitely steam. And it's carrying on. Just have to um, put it together. And again, I'm hoping to see no leak on that side, and I don't see any. I think the main leak is just here and here, which I could live with. I decided to put silicone on the bottom panel so it doesn't corrode any further. Here's my attempt to practice soldering. Okay, test number two. Three maybe, three. All right, turning the water. And to me, that's a success story here. No leaks so far, no leaks here. And that's pretty good. Now, of course, I gotta take this apart because I have to redo this, but there are no leaks here. Not a single drop. No leaks on the other side. Moment of truth. Connected. This is connected. All right. Time to fire it up. One more time. All right, now everything's connected. Um, I'm not gonna say why it didn't work before. Kind of embarrassing, but let's just to say. Uh, all right, I'm gonna give it a try. That's the sound I wanna hear. I wanna make sure there are no leaks anywhere. I don't see any here. I, I hear the water barley. Just want to check that this joint is okay. No leaks here. No leaks there. If that's the only leak, then I'm good to go. 
That's the only part that's not soldered. No leaks here. No leaks here. And the only leak is up where I just loosely put it. Rightfully so. And I think we got steam. Success. Well, it got messy real quick here, but I cleaned it up and started putting it together. I noticed that the pipe set thread sealant that I have went up to a range of 125 Fahrenheit and I was worried uh, about using it on the steam head. So I uh, got another pipe dope uh, that went up to 500 Fahrenheit and that's what I used on the ballast. And so I started putting this uh, whole unit together wasn't too bad, um, got the foam in there, the insulating foam, the um, fiberglass and started to line up these uh, panels together to make sure it seals right and then of course you want to, this is a steam head, uh, you want to make sure you put that right and the rest is pretty much uh, straightforward, this needs to be piped through with some dope and then I did the electrical connections and this is the 240 volts connected to the heating unit and then finally I put the um, rest of this together and here is the steam pipe coming out and I made another mistake I should have put the panel first because um, the panel will not fit over the steam pipe so I had to take it apart so I took it from this point and I then put the side panel on and then I threaded the, um, the uh, steam pipe uh, back up and here's the whole unit sealed up and then I it was time to solder this onto the steam pipe uh, and then it was soldered and there it is finally functional okay this is hopefully the last time I'll try it it's all closed up uh, let's fire it up there you go all right water no leaks everything is sealed up all right this is all done right this is facing up as it's supposed to this is saying 12 o'clock and I think there's enough water let's go it's cold, that's good. The water seems like it's boiling. I hear the steam. I don't know, necessarily see anything leaking here. I think this is good. It's working. Okay. There's nothing leaking. All right, thank you. That's it, folks. Thanks.